Testing, testing. My name is Michael Payne, and I'm a nosy neighbour. Good day, YouTubers. And winter is definitely here now. And for the past three weeks, I've been waiting for my video camera to come back from the repair shop. Now that's not exactly true because I've already had it back with a note saying that they couldn't find anything wrong with it, which was a bit of a surprise. It had been suffering a very real problem with holding focus and it was still showing the fault but unknown to them they'd also left the memory card in the camera that they'd used to record the test footage. The problem is that if you examine the test footage it demonstrates the very issue that I sent it in for in the first place. So it's gone back at their expense. Naturally, being a liverboard, this means I'm confined to one small location because I have to use their local post office to take delivery. Which is also unavoidable because the locks not far down the canal are closed until the end of December for new gates and maintenance. So I can't move anyway. Next up, I would very much like to say a humongous thank you to every single one of you who have posted comments and messages of support on my previous video. There are literally hundreds. I know it sounds a bit corny, but I have been quite literally overwhelmed. Not only by all of your support and understanding but also by the sheer number of people who've also shared similar experiences which was really surprising I didn't expect that at all I just haven't been able to reply to everybody it amounts into the thousands all across social media private Facebook messages Twitter, Patreon, emails. The whole process of doing the video has been very, very therapeutic. As I mentioned in a few replies, it has been almost as though a mask has been lifted. I felt as though there was something sort of under the surface which I wasn't revealing. But now posting the video, that mask is gone. But we all wear masks of one form or another when we're out in public. Now when I'm out and about in public, what you pretty much see is what you get. A case in point would be a couple of days ago in the local shop. I was stood in the queue and there was three or four people behind me and a lady in front who was asking what scratch cards they had and the shop assistant ran off a list and then she got to one called Thunderbolt and the customer instantly replied and lightning which triggered Bohemian Rhapsody in my mind and without a care in the world I just said to her very very frightening and she said Galileo and a guy behind me he said Galileo Figaro Magnifico and then all four of us I'm just a poor boy nobody loves me and then all of a sudden the mask came back down and they all looked at each other heads bowed looking quite embarrassed except for me because I thought it was brilliant. A group of completely random strangers 
spontaneously burst into song on a common mission. And that, following my attack, is how I try to live most of the time. Interact with other people without any pretense. The inner child. As I've said on several comments on the video, looking back, I actually believe that the whole experience was a good thing and ultimately beneficial. Because despite knowing that you only get the one life and that this isn't a rehearsal, knowing and actually realizing are two completely different things. And fingers crossed, I've managed to pretty much put the experience behind me. The PTSD flashbacks are pretty much non-existent now, just the occasional one. But it's gone fairly quickly. I've analysed and examined and dissected the whole event so many times. I'm basically bored of it now. Maybe that's the answer. You need to think about it a lot and basically bore yourself to death with it. Though, no, not quite literally, of course. So the biggest tip I could give to anyone in a similar situation is to take all that anger and pain and endless questions of why and focus it on something that you love doing or something that you would really like to do because the realization that this really is it and you don't get any second chances makes you determined to make the use of the time you have thank you so much for watching and cheers for now